Alright guys, what's going on? Fly here, and I have an awesome gameplay for y'all today. This game is called Navy Field. This game was my childhood. This game is ancient. Like, ancient. I remember my mom picking me up in her damn minivan, driving me home, um, and I was the most excited kid in the world in my eyes, because when I got home, I knew I had 30 minutes a day to play Navy Field. But what Navy Field is, it is a 2D arcade simulation of naval combat. And I wanted to make this video because I think that some of the things they have implemented in Navy Field might actually happen in War Thunder. Um, so disclaimer right here, guys. This is completely speculation. There is there is no proof. Um, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Please don't tell your friends that, hey, Fly Daily said this. You know, I just want to get your guys' you know, imagination spinning and pumped up for um, naval combat. Because tanks is out. Everyone's doing tanks. Tanks are fun and all. But bottom line is that ships are just a bigger tank, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't mean to offend anybody. Tanks are awesome. Ships are awesome. Here we go. So in this video, uh, in this, do I need, yeah, okay. I think I remember my password. Justice Beaver 155. Oh, no, it's One Direction 155. There we go. I'm just kidding. That wasn't that yeah, okay. That was my password. So we're gonna start with aircraft carriers. If you guys enjoy this gameplay, please let me know. There's many more things I can do uh, with Navy Field that will reflect into War Thunder. So aircraft carriers. How how the hell are aircraft carriers gonna work? From the current model in War Thunder, uh, we can assume that basically aircraft carriers are just going to be mobile spawn points, right? I mean we. You know, without speculation, that, that that's what we can assume. You know, oh, I unlocked my new Yorktown. You know, I can fire AA from uh, the guns and kill some uh, planes, maybe, maybe be bombed to death. And if I can survive, I can be a mobile spawn point for wildcat players, like real players to spawn off you. And that's where speculation comes in. That's why I love speculating. Um, disclaimer again, guys. Disclaimer, disclaimer. None of this stuff is true. None of this stuff has any means. I just want to talk to you guys because it gets my engine burning and yours too about uh, being pumped for ships. And the speculation I think will happen for aircraft carrier players is that they will have their own sets of airplanes. They will have their own sets of skills and they will have their own sets of ranked pilots. Um, these pilots can be leveled up, the planes can be leveled up, better armament. Um, you can get new planes as you progress through your carriers to extend different items on the carrier. Um, faster reload time for the planes to the deck, to the air. And that's how I think it's going to work. I don't think players are going to fly the aircraft carrier planes. I think that the aircraft carrier player will direct the plane via map and maybe could get in one of those planes and engage a target. But I think uh, bottom line is that the aircraft carrier player will control every aspect of the aircraft carrier from um, engine management to gun management to aircraft management to aircraft flying. I don't think any player will um, be able to control the aircraft carrier's planes. With that said, I think that... Um, players will be able to shoot down the AI planes, um, but there won't be any kind of players spawning off your carrier. And that's how I think it will work. Does that mean that's how it's going to work? No, but that's how I think it might work. If you guys want a, a more in-depth description of how it's going to work, I can maybe make a more, more, more in-depth video to show you the stats of the planes, how it works. Uh, but we're going to get in combat right now. Um, this is, I, I mean, I love French carriers. Uh, most of the things in this game are concepts after the beta. Um, this is, good God. Yeah, that's my carrier, guys. That's uh, that's a level 102. How do you pronounce this carrier? I forgot what it's called. Uh, I, you know, I can't pronounce it. It's French. So, we're going to load some planes up. We're going to go out in combat. Um... Hmm. Now, I, I'm still pretty good at this game. Uh, I just muscle memory. I played so many uh, years of this game that I know what to do. Okay, my Bobby is my bridge operator. Put a huge gunner on there for my um, hedgehogs, which are anti um, submarine mines. 
Alright, Ace Fighter. It's one of my fighter pods that controls a group of fighters. Each of these fighter pods basically can, basically can control um, one or more fighters. I'll show you more in the game, but... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's about to go out, but <clears throat> I'm good to go. Alright, so this game has a limit to what you can put on a ship. They don't want you boosting anybody. Uh, here we go. Here are my high-level torpedo pilots. Alright. So our aircraft to be using right now is a tier one, two, three, four C-17 um, French aircraft. I have 85 of these on board. My torpedo bomber that I'm using is a late 298 tier two torpedo bomber. I think there's maybe one more tier above this, but I don't really care to use it. I have 18 of those. Um, basically what happens in War Thunder is that the more you scout with your fighters, the more your battleships can win. I think we're good to go, guys. Put my radio man on because I have such old friends in here. I don't think any of them play anymore. His, his name's Lanny. Wow. Yeah, it is. This game has just it's lost people's interest. It was so. When I used to play, there used to be this this side full this side full and this side full of games like you couldn't join a game fast enough to get into it <clears throat> this guy's playing for credits lol so this is like the battle zone this is the trade zone see I wanna buy uh, IGN level 29 um, accuracy um, elite boost it vet it and expert it. I know a lot about this game. I spent so many years in this game. Oh, I just loved it. This is the clan area. <sighs> Good old times. I might create a room. Why not? Uh, they doing, they're doing, I think, uh, Great Battle 2. No, I think it's Great Battle 1. Let's see if anybody joins me. There's my carrier. Nice big aircraft carrier. Yeah, people join me. Hello, everybody. So this is Iowa, H-44 class, Lion 2, H-39. Um, that is a, uh, you know, French, you know, because the French and the uh, Russians and the Italians were um, last added um, after I was done playing. So, um, oh, that's a new, that's a new one. Shinya looks like a, a Yamato type of class. There's the uh, Queen, or, uh, the Queen Victoria, uh, tier 6 battleship, the Yamato. Oh, man. If you guys want more gameplay, let me know, because there's an Essex. Oh, my gosh. I know a lot about ships. I love ships. I love ships. Love, love them. The, yeah, this is the, one of the worst ships in the game. <clears throat> so I'm waiting for the room to go to 20% right here. Oh, wait. Hang on. I think it fills at 20. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I haven't played this game in so long. Alright, yeah, good. Alright, it fills at 20. We'll wait. <laughs> I don't want to say that because people are like, ho oh, snoob, ho oh, snoob. Man, this game brings. Whoa! That's a new one too. They brought some. They, they they brought at least two new uh, um, Japanese battleships in here. Oh yeah, guys, and I do have the Yamato, or the Yamato Yamato. I don't you know whatever. Um, if you guys want to see gameplay of that, let me know. This game is awesome. I love playing this game. Close the room, top right. Assign the teams, auto balanced, and say good luck, have fun. And let's start the battle. So my main job this game is to support these bottom right, or the bottom um, battleships. Give them vision, give them fighter cover, and uh, hopefully they can achieve their own victory with my help. So we're going to load three, four, three, up. 
That's what comes about playing for a while. You forget how many planes you have. Usually, I sh I I, sh I should have done four four three, but uh three four three is not not the worst decision ever. So how you play this is you have F to go forward. Uh, I think S to slow down. Is it V to slow down? Yeah, V to slow down. God, this is old. Um, then you have auto aim, and there's manual aim too, which is pretty cool. Here are my hedgehogs that kill subs. See them? All right, plane's about to take off, guys. Come on, number four, let's go. We need you up right now, bro. We've lost a sub. Three's up, two's up, one's up. We're gonna, we're gonna have to go ahead and ready. Another wave. Select them and we auto aim them. They'll be in a circle of death here. We gotta auto aim them back to the center so they can kill them right now. There we go. Aim these things forward. Give these guys support effort. Um, there is a scout right here that we could take down real quick, which we are. We'll auto aim them. Come back. Get the kill. Thank you. Easy, Queen Elizabeth. Okay, let's take, let's take the scout down right here. We gotta have their their um, battleship formation blind. I'll take one of them and put them over the enemy to scout them. There they go. This guy will clean up the last scout right here. We got flak right now, boys. See, I'm the only one scouting right now. Good hit, good hit. Don't want to get too much out in the battle right now. Three, two, one, back to my hangar to resupply and refuel. Second wave's up. This one should have been up, but it's not. We need to go ahead and scout again for them. Eyes, eyes all game, eyes all game. That's CB number one rule, eyes all game. We need to keep vision on the enemy for the battleships to go. And that's a new mistake right there. Why are you coming home? Get the fuck out there. Let's go, boys. So what happened is there, this AA ship right here destroyed about six of my fighters because I didn't lower them um, in elevation. There is, is a gold spot for them to uh, shoot at, which mine we're at. I haven't played in a while, so that's my mistake. We're doing pretty good right now. A pretty even game. Let's go ahead and kill this scout right here. Go, 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 go. They're on him. So you just point them a little bit close to the um, scout and they will lock onto the aircraft. Okay, back home, you've done your job. Fast paced game for CV players. Okay, so the team is pretty much scouted right now. We'll lower our fighters to about 85. We'll load some torpedo bombers. We'll load about four. Take this fucking new Japanese ship out. He's dangerous. He looks really dangerous. Out of range. So aircraft in sight means I have scouts around my aircraft. Yeah, these guys I need to take out. I'll, I'll hang uh, one of them by the ship to keep them scouted. Oh shit, we got fucking dive bombers here. Look, dive bombers! On, on, wait, will he dodge it? Will he dodge it? Okay, dodge some of them. Torpedo bombers are here. We 
got a sub right here. Launching, locking. Oh, come on, bitch. You're on. Get it. Drop torpedoes. Go, 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 go. Yes, got him. He, he, he just emerged, too, but I got him. Alright, so it looks like we've definitely lost this game right now, but it wasn't because it was my fault. Um, a lot of the team just kind of evaporated. I mean, it was some of my fault, but it wasn't completely my fault. I played well for not playing in uh, about four months, uh, with the addition of not having any game time in over uh, two years. Look at that, isn't that so cool? I'm trying to provide cover for this guy. I, c I could throw some smoke for him. There goes one right there. Yeah, he's going to die soon. Throw some, throwing him some smoke for some cover right now. Oh god! Oh god! He's oh yeah, that AP rounds are hurting him right now. We'll go ahead and scout real quick. Nothing we really can do anymore in this game. Yep, GG. That's all she wrote. And once your carrier is gone, or once your force is gone, you don't run in this game. You just come to the enemy, and they'll they'll kill you, nice and swift. I'm gonna use my uh, hedgehogs for a hit on this guy. Oh, oh I over rotated. That's all she wrote, guys. Alright, guys, well, I hope you've enjoyed that gameplay. If you guys have um, liked this, uh, please tell me in the comments box below. Like, favorite, I don't know, do you guys rate anymore? Like, that was probably a 2008 thing with YouTube. You rate, you know, five star. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, guys, till next time. Later on.